Good morning everyone, welcome to yet another fine day in paradise. Now I've been in Thailand, Koh Chang Island for three weeks now and there comes a time where you get a craving for some trad British food and in my case it's a proper English breakfast which is pretty hard to come by on this island, you know what I mean? The proper sausage, proper bacon, baked beans, you know what I mean. Well. I think I know just the place. Let's go and check it out. This is the White Elephant Resort just before you get to a white sand beach and try and cross this road without getting run over. I'll give you a better view of where I am. The White Elephant Bar and Restaurant, Koh Chang Island. Now this place used to be renowned for its uh, trad British food. It could have changed, it was five years ago that I last had anything to eat here. But today I am trying to find myself a proper trad proper English breakfast uh, and I'm hoping this is going to be it. Let's find out. Let's go and check it out. This is a great little bar, restaurant, but pool table and uh, great seating. Service a little bit lapsed. Oh, you've got a uh, Thai cooking going on because we are in Thailand don't forget sport between the best of both worlds here look at that fantastic noodle soup I think she's making there bit of everything going into it having a look at this menu I've got the early bird elephant breakfast uh, 129 part but that's served until noon and unfortunately it's just gone noon so I'm gonna opt for the elephant breakfast which is two eggs um, streaky bacon I'll let you read the rest because I haven't got my glasses on and I can't really see very well but 195 185 baht uh, it's just under a fiver with a can of coke probably come out to a fiver looking forward to this one happy days let's see what this is like Five years ago when I visited this island for the first time, this is where I stayed. The White Elephant Resort. There is a link below. Check out the hotel prices, some good deals on prices in the link below. But yeah, this is where I stayed. And it looks like it's still going on. Fantastic little resort. You've got your own little chalets. Fantastic swimming pool. Not the biggest of swimming pools, but yeah, just right. Look at that, beautiful. And each, each chalet is named after the uh, people in uh, Only Fools and Horses. You've got Rodney, you've got Del Boy Chalet. Yeah, things like that. And this chalet here, which does cost a little bit more, has actually got cooking facilities and um, like two bedrooms or something like that. So if you're a family, perfect. You've got a little bar. And then just round the corner from here, there is also massive macros. And yes, there you have it, look. They've even got a massive macros on the island. Now, for those of you who don't know what macros is, it's basically like a cash and carry. Um, you can pretty much buy anything you want, mainly in bulk, but you can also buy uh, individual products, uh, cheap and cheerful. So if you did want to come and do a bit of Thai cooking, this is absolutely the ideal spot. The White Elephant Resort. Just had to do a video of this. Great to see that COVID didn't kill this one off. Right, my breakfast has arrived. 
Sausages look a bit better than what I've been getting lately. Streaky bacon, um, fried tomatoes, some mushrooms, baked beans, and tinned tomatoes. It's got a bit of toast and some jam with it. Yeah, looking forward to tucking into this one. Sauce. You know why it's called HP sauce? See the picture underneath it? As the Parliament, that's why. As the Parliament sauce. Right, the white elephant breakfast, traditional, proper, full English that I went searching for. How did I get on with it? Well, to be, I'm going to be 100% honest with you because that's the way I am on my videos. I mean, excuse me, I'm sweating. It's 35 degrees and sweatering hot. I ain't complaining. I love it. I'm going to go and jump in the swimming pool in a minute. Anyway, moving back gracefully. Um, yeah, breakfast at the um, white elephant restaurant in the White Elephant, Elephant Resort. Do you know, this is Thailand. I'm not expecting a proper full English breakfast like you get in the UK. I get that, okay? But it still didn't quite hit the spot. I've got to say, it was the best breakfast I've had on Koh Chang Island so far. So yeah, give it what it's worth. One thing that really peed me off though is, I mean, okay, when she finally did get to me, she was quite nice and polite and even asked me how my meal was at the end of uh, my eating it but the one thing is I had to literally get in there I didn't get a hello when I arrived I had to find my own menu I had to find my own seating and then I sat down and when I finally looked at something that I fancied I then had to go and find the waitress 
which okay fair enough you know if it's a busy place I can understand it but it wasn't busy and when I did finally find her guess what she's busy on her mobile phone that really pisses me off I'm sorry but that's one of my biggest pet hates is you know if you're working put the mobile phone away you know you're there you're being paid to do, you're being paid to do a job look after your customers you know I've got to stand there and try and find someone to order to try and find some some condiments or ketchup or anything and then you look for them and then when you do find them they're on their mobile phone sorry big no no for me and didn't get a very big tip I still left a little bit because that's the way I am uh, but even when I came to pay my bill I had to go and try and find someone anyway that's my moan for today all that having been said if you are in the white elephant resort area definitely worth stopping in grab yourself full English breakfast as I say best I've had on the island so far uh, apart from that I think I will personally be sticking to my Thai food whilst I'm in Thailand and uh, have myself a nice roast dinner when I get back to the UK Seth Travels thanks very much for watching and hopefully see you on the next one cheers